All right, guys, good morning. Hope all, hope all is well for all of you. If you are new here, welcome. And if you don't know much about me, I currently use Windows 11, Linux Mint, and of course, and of course Chromebooks. Let me get another sip of coffee here and we will get started. All right. All right. As a reminder, you can download these video podcasts in truncated, shortened, no ads audio version on the TOS Today Patreon page. The latest, uh, and I, I, I will toss in some extra stuff on Patreon. The, the latest is news nonsense getting juiced. This is uh, oddball news items, and uh, you can join for as little as a dollar a month. That's even less than, than a cup of coffee. Come on, enjoy it, enjoy it. All right, let's talk a little bit about Chromebooks. Well, I've talked about Chromebooks before. I think Chromebooks exploded during the pandemic as they outsold Macs. And I have to admit, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to admit that one surprised me uh, at least a little bit. I knew Chromebooks would perform well as they always have, really. But they really exploded during the uh, pandemic. Now, before we talk about the Chromebook, let me, uh, one of the frequent questions I get is, uh, where do I find extensions or do I need extensions to use a Chromebook? Uh, I don't think you need to use extensions to use a Chromebook. I think the Chromebooks, of course, with, with the Chrome web browser, uh, I have very few extensions installed. But people ask, where can I find extensions? So those of you watching this, basically what you do is go to the top right-hand corner. You'll see the three dots. Scroll down, and right here you will see where it says extensions, manage extensions. I don't have too many extensions installed. One of my favorite extensions is the reader mode uh, to clean up the web page. But anyway, that's how you find extensions. I, th I think it was the video on it. if your older Chromebook is running slow, try eliminating or deleting all of the extensions that you don't need to speed up the Chromebook. And that works for me. Now, keep in mind, if your Chromebook is really old and outdated, like, I don't know, 10 years old or something, this may not help that much. But as far as where to find extensions, well, I just uh, showed you. So I hope this helps you out. It's a Kind of a weird question to ask, but hey, I'm here to help. All right, let me grab some more coffee here. All right, so I've talked about this before. ZDNet has an excellent recent article on five reasons why a Chromebook is the perfect laptop for most people, such as all 1 billion plus Windows users out there. Now, just to be clear, I don't know if I'm 100% sure that the Chromebook is for you. You really don't know until you try it. These machines run on a modified version of Linux. If you don't know what that is, that's okay. You may have tried a form of Linux in the past. It didn't work out for you. Hang on, slow down, that's okay too. So let's look at this article real quick here and see what we have. So five reasons, there are actually more, but according to this, number one, Chromebooks are cheap. They start at about $200 and go up to, well, at least $1,000. For most people, if you go with the new Chromebook Plus, uh, $400 or less, I think that's going to be enough for most consumers. Now it says here you can buy a Windows laptop for less than 400 bucks, or the cheapest Apple laptop is the MacBook Air at over $1,000. Now I will say this, and, and this person says it here, nothing compares to the price of a Chromebook. 
And the sub $400 Windows laptop, I agree, will not perform as fast or as well as the cheapest Chromebooks. So when it comes to affordability, yeah, Chromebooks are it. Chromebooks are user proof. Well, Chromebooks, it says here that no other operating system on the planet can claim to be as user proof as Chrome OS, as in as easy to learn. Now, I will say this, anytime you're working with something new, anything, it will take a little bit of time to get used to the new operating system. Now, it says here that the ease of use found in Chrome OS is light years ahead of the competition, period. I agree. If it wasn't, I would not be using it, and I would not be recommended it, or I would not recommend it. No matter your experience level, you can sit down with the Chromebook and immediately put it to use. Uh, he says here, OS upgrades are something even your grandmother can take care of. They're about as easy... Uh, <laughs> as it gets. Anyway, there's more information here, but yeah, Chromebooks are pretty much user-proof in terms of, well, being easy. Chromebooks are fast. Well, in my test, they are the fastest, fastest machines, the fastest consumer machines on the planet, period. Chromebooks are reliable. Yeah, um, he says here, in the 10 years since using a Chromebook, he only had one device with problems, and that was the original uh, Pixel Book. I guess he had problems with Bluetooth and networking issues. Beyond that, he's never had a problem with the Chromebook. It just doesn't happen. Uh, I agree. So we're also talking not just reliability, also security. I've, I've challenged all of you who have a Chromebook. Have you, have you ever gotten malware or ransomware? I've been asking you for years. It just doesn't happen. Now, nothing is 100% secure, granted, but it just doesn't happen. And because of the Chromebook's multiple layers of security, probably the best you can buy, you don't need antivirus or malware protection separately. And finally, but not the least, Chromebook can easily be restored. Yeah, if you have a problem with the Chromebook or if it warns you something's not right, right, you can do what's called a power wash. It's just a word, fancy word for a factory reset. Log into your account and everything is there, minus whatever problems you were having. Uh, no other operating system can compete with Chrome OS's ability to factory reset and return you to a pristine working state. To a pristine working state and so on. So, yeah, I look, I've talked about this before. You know, this is one of those things that the, the first time I tried a Chromebook when they first came out, I have to admit, I wasn't really too impressed with these things. But lately, with the explosion of malware and ransomware and up the wazoo wear, it's bad. And it appears right now that there is nothing as secure consumer grade secure as a Chromebook. They are fantastic. All right, coffee's hot, coffee's good. Let me take a quick look in the chat and see if anybody's here for this, uh, what is it, Tuesday morning? I lost track. I think it's Tuesday. Anyway, um, I'm actually recording this, doing this from uh, Windows 11, and it says here an account. Oh, I need to log into my Microsoft account. No, I don't have to Microsoft, but thank you very much for <laughs> the notification on that. <laughs> Oh, Microsoft, you can be so silly sometimes. <laughs> All right, well, it is quiet here in the live chat, as to be expected early morning, at least early morning for me. Sorry that I missed you. Well, once again, you can catch these... Uh, video podcast on playback of course the audio portion will be on the patreon page if you like to listen to these without the pauses and all of the ads for as little as one dollar a month 
All right, well, it's quiet here in the chat, so let's see. Is there anything else I need to say? Um, I don't think so. If you if you recently if you recently bought a Chromebook, uh, let me know what you think about all this. Um, I like my Lenovo Chromebook, the superb machines. I just wish the software that I want to use would catch up with the hardware capabilities of the Chromebook, such as the OBS Studio that I use. Uh, for editing, I like Kden Live, probably the best free video editor out there in terms of reliability and ease of use. But yeah, you really cannot beat a Linux-powered Chromebook for the price and the reliability. They're just really, really good machines. All right, well, I think I'll wrap this up for this. Those of you who stop by, stop by later, thank you for stopping by and listening and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Be safe out there and enjoy the rest of your summer, if it is summer where you live. I know in Australia it's not. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.